Yo, what's going on everybody? Llama here. We are back with some MLB 15 Road to the Show. You can see our guy is 99 overall, so currently we've got 940 attribute points. So go ahead and uh, increase some of our stats a little bit. You can see our offensive stats are pretty stacked, so is the defensive ones too. So raise the contact there a little bit. We're going to go ahead and advance to the next day here, taking on the Cleveland Indians game one of a three game series. So recorded a bunch of games, so hopefully I can try to uh, start uploading regularly since I haven't uploaded too much. But I uh, just kind of got bored of franchise mode, but I was enjoying playing uh, Road to the Show, so that's probably what I'll just continue to upload for a while here, since, uh, like I said, franchise, it was just annoying playing it and then spending like an hour editing each video, so I wasn't having fun with it, so that's why I haven't put up stuff in like a month, but taking on the Reds here, and I want to do, or the Reds, we are the Reds, taking on the uh, Indians here, um, away here, we're playing in Cleveland, and um, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay too much, I've got a cold if my voice sounds crappy, but... We got the two wildcard games, one tonight and one tomorrow night. The one tonight I'm uh, a little bit unfamiliar with since I haven't been following the American League at all, but it will be the Astros uh, taking on the Yankees in New York, and here are the uh, pitching matchups for it. So going on the hill for the Astros, you've got Dallas Kuchel, if I'm pronouncing the dude's name right. So his stats this year, 20-8 and eight with a 2.48 ERA and uh, 216 strikeouts versus the Yankees this year. He was 2-0 uh, and with a 0 ERA. Pitched 16 shutout innings and compiled 21 strikeouts. So the dude has been a monster all year against the Yankees. He only played a two games with them or whatever. Maybe three games, I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to get some new decisions in there. But anyways, he uh, shut him out on 16 straight innings. So that is uh, pretty great stats. Playing for the Yankees is uh, Tanaka. Um, who I think, I don't think he played in like a week or two. I think he was injured for a while and they decided to skip his last start. So he's 12-7 and seven with 3.51 ERA. ERA. 139 Ks in uh, 154 innings, 25 home runs allowed. Um, not the greatest stats, but I think he was hurt a lot of the year. Like I said, I haven't been watching too much American League Baseball, but I think this will be a pretty good game. I uh, Oh, and the se season series was the Astros 1-4-3, so my pick for this one is the Astros. I'd love to see them get into the uh, divisional series. I like the Yankees too, but uh, it's nice seeing a crappy team like the Astros. I know they're not crappy, but... Uh, low payroll team make the playoffs especially with how stacked the uh, American League West is it's cool to see them get in I guess uh, I don't know if Texas I guess Texas ended up in that division I wasn't paying too much attention to it but uh, looks like the Angels missed the playoffs yet again they've got such a stacked lineup for hitting and defense and then not the greatest pitching there so you think they'd spend some of the uh, pull holes and trout money on pitching instead but um, yeah I like the Astros to win this one and now game two or uh, the other wild card game which will be tomorrow night will be the uh, Cubs in Pittsburgh taking on the Pirates. I actually got to go to the final game uh, against the Reds, the uh, game 162. I think it was Sunday. We watched uh, half pitch like six uh, shutout innings. They won 4 nothing, So they won and the Cubs won, but since they won, they had one more win than the uh, Cubs, so they get home field for the wild card, which is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure it was the three best teams in baseball came from the NL Central, and uh, the teams with the second and third best record have to play a one game playoff. So that kind of sucks. I think they need to restructure it like how basketball is. So if you win your division, you get in, but the uh, seeds are by best record. I think that would make the most sense, especially with having to play all these wild card games and stuff like that, like three years in a row for the Pirates. So uh, my thought for that, obviously, I'm going to go with the Pirates to win that one. But um, Arietta has been a monster against them this year. I think he's like 5-1 and one with an ERA under one against them. I'm not sure what Cole's pitching lineup is against him, but Cole's another solid pitcher, so in that game, I see um, Cole going seven innings, giving up one or two runs. I see Arietta going eight innings, and I think the winner of that game will be either in the ninth, it'll be decided either in the ninth inning or in extra innings. I see that one being really close up into an end, and um, I think someone's going to end up breaking it open uh, later on in the game and scoring like three or four runs uh, in one inning to win it But yeah, my choice is the Pirates and Astros to win both wildcard games So like I said, sorry my voice sounds like crap and I'm like stumbling over my words But got an awful uh, sinus infection here So that's it guys, what's everyone else's prediction? And then to uh, go to the World Series, I think the Dodgers are the best in the uh, And now their pitching is just stacked in the American League um, I don't know, I'm not following the American League teams too much, but um, I don't even know all the teams that are in it, that's kind of sad, I probably should have looked it up before this video, but yeah, you got the Dodgers uh, going, and I don't know if they can win the World Series, but I think they are going to be the strongest team in the playoffs, so that's my thoughts on it guys, and uh, that's it, thanks for watching.